Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Wednesday, May 18th, and it is Way In Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, so obviously, look at there, my pants are falling down. These things get too big. All right, so obviously, we're not in the gym, but I did work out this morning. I'll insert a video here. I actually went Early out for start a run, to the and I also did like some run, walk, intervals jog walk intervals which I was so proud of and, and I actually just started a new goal of trying to get my four mile time down to one hour but yeah I'll be sure to keep you guys updated this summer as to how I plan to hit that goal and when I hit that goal but anyways I want to talk to you guys about something else so I want to answer a question that I've been receiving of how long will it take me to lose 100 pounds and short answer is as long as it takes <laughs> and i'm not being a sassy pants with that but here's the thing when i first started this journey it wasn't like to lose the weight overnight i've been overweight for about 10 years now okay almost 10 years so i didn't expect to lose this weight overnight first i started this journey with the intentions on forgiving myself for all of the crazy yo-yo dieting for starting and stopping so many workout programs like that was kind of like where my headspace was when i first started so i needed to get through that first and then next the other big thing for me when i started this journey it wasn't necessarily about losing the weight it was more so as you guys know i help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love on a budget that they can afford so i wanted to create this vision of felicia that i have for myself and the weight loss has happened to be a side effect of it so when i see felicia like the felicia that i want to be she is a woman that eats well she enjoys yoga she goes hiking so that's kind of who i created like felicia now she goes she walks at least 10,000 steps a day. She goes on long hikes. Like, so what you guys are seeing is from the woman that I wanted to be. And the weight loss just happens to be a great side effect from that. You see, I have intentions to live to be at least 105 years old. I had a great grandmother that lived to be 104. And that was like a few years ago. So I feel that I should be able to make it to live to be at least 105 years old. So my goal was to become who that 105 year old woman needed to be. So I needed to create a healthier version of myself. I needed to eat much better. I needed to move my body a lot more. I needed to work on flexibility, mobility, and all of those things. Yeah, it wasn't just about the weight for me. Although I do know, I can stand here and like confidently say that I know I'm going to hit my goal. Like I know that I am going to lose the weight. And the reason why is because the habits that I put into place, I know that I can maintain them. Like I haven't done anything crazy to where I can't maintain it. So that is what makes me feel very confident in saying that I know I'm going to hit my goal. So to answer that question, how long do I think it's going to take me? As long as it freaking takes. And that again is not with the sass, it's just it is what it is. Also, I started this weight loss journey with adrenal fatigue. I have a sluggish thyroid, so I have hypothyroidism. My cortisol levels were all over the place. Like my hormonal levels were just whack. So I needed, my body needed to heal first before I could even start like releasing the weight. And even now as I'm losing weight, my body still hits these set points. And it's like, girl, like learning to trust me. So for any of you that are on a weight loss journey, I encourage you to like look at there's so many other different factors like it's not just about the number and don't get me wrong the number is nice it's nice to see that number go down listen i'm the first one to celebrate it but i encourage you to introduce healthier habits into your lifestyle the good habits that you develop is what will keep you from yo-yoing all the time so yeah with that being said oh so the question how long will it take me as long as it freaking takes like no, bro just stick around stick around hang out on the channel hit that subscribe button and you will see me hit my goal like as a matter of fact when i do we should just have like a big huge party like just have a huge and speaking of parties i wanted to share with you guys i went to i went to a family member's 50th birthday party this past weekend and you guys guess what freaking size my dress was hold up let me go get it listen i I wish I had taken more pictures in this girl like with the full dress because I didn't but look at her side 
size 10 and Klein freaking size 10 and she is so cute I actually found her um she was like how much do you guys think I paid for her she's really cute. you know what I'll put a picture here it's not like a cute picture it's a silly picture with me and my me and one of my uncles but I'll put the picture here but yeah I found this dress and she calls I want to say either $29 or $39. So that made me really happy. I love saving money. But yeah, like size 10. So you guys, it's not just about the number on the scale. Like you, like can you imagine if I'm a size 10 now? Like what size am I going to be? Uh, let's not go there. Let's not go there. But you know what? I'm jumping all over the place because I got to get to work. Um, let's talk about this week's weigh-in. You guys know that last week, oh yeah, I talked about how fluffy I was going to be. So last week when I weighed in, like after taking time off and like I did the whole video, I'll link it here about how I'm so sick and tired of diet and exercise. And I just need like a little break. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. When I weighed in, I weighed in at 224.6. And my lowest weight on this weight loss journey has been 222.0. So yeah, that was the weigh-in for last week. Sorry, um, we went back to we went back to in live case conferences, and I didn't have time to record the video like as I was working out because you have to move the camera and all of that stuff whenever you're working out, like in order to get decent angles. So I didn't have time to do all of that. So that's why I didn't do last week's weigh-in. So last week again was 224.6. I apologize for not uploading. This week again we you know live case conference, but next week is going to thursdays so i'll be able to share with you guys i'm so sorry it's all over the place but this week i weighed in at 224.0 so that's good news um i dropped 0.6 so that's good like i feel very good about that i'm excited i'm happy yay and this week i'm putting in some more new habits um i'm doing a few not a lot but a few evening walks um, what I've been noticing is that in the evenings when I get home, and I know a lot of it's because I wake up super early, but I want to just try to walk. Like when I come home, shower, whatever, I just want to go out for a walk and see if that gives me a little bit more energy to do more things in the evening. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have for this video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, and don't worry, I will do more um, workout videos. Again, like I said, they, I was actually wondering like how I would make that happen, but they decided to move our case conference to Thursdays away from Wednesdays because it was a conf conflict in their schedule. So I never even had to say it was conflict in my schedule. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.